Hi everyone, welcome again to the latest installment of Member Appreciation Week. We've got a really exciting event for us today. We're gonna to have an interview with Brad Sinopoli from the Ottawa Red Blacks. The Ottawa Red Blacks are great partners of ours. We've been working closely with them for many years. You've, if you've been to games, you've seen CAA all over the stadium. We're really grateful that Brad's gonna join us today and chat with a little, little bit with us about what he's been up to, what he's doing, and, um, and a little bit about maybe the upcoming season. So stay tuned. Welcome, Brad Sinopoli to CAA Member Appreciation Week. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Jeff. Glad to be here. So, uh, well, I, you know, I've got a lot of questions I want to ask you, but uh, I guess let's start with, with fatherhood. I've got a couple of teenage kids, but I know you've got a new baby, right? That's right. So how old is your, uh, is it a daughter or a son? It's a son. And okay. uh, five weeks now. And uh, I guess it's just like anyone else that's uh, had a, a child with five weeks. He's sleeping very little. We're trying to get him to go down for naps and nighttime. And, uh, you know, so it's a fun adventure. And uh, I think it's, it's good being home, you know, with nothing really to do. We're, uh, all of our focus is on him. And uh, so it's been a fun ride so far. Well, that's great. You know, I, have, I, I noticed that you don't have too many bags under your eyes there. So you must be doing something right, I think. Maybe it's the computer. Maybe it's not picking up what you're seeing, really. But... Uh, we're doing something, yeah, we're doing okay so far. Well, I'm glad to hear that, really glad to hear that. So obviously this is such an odd time, you know, in the COVID era here, um, you know, I know that it's right around training camp time usually, right? Right about now? Yeah, that's right. Usually at this point we're, uh, we're looking down pretty much two weeks to go until training camp, middle of May. So um, usually our mindset and physically we're about ready to go. Um, but yeah, this time it's, uh, it's a little bit different. Yeah. So from, from both from, maybe from, I'm really interested sort of from a physical point of view, how do you, how do you do it? And, and then I guess even more importantly, from a psychological and mental point of view, how do you keep yourself engaged and try and think about the season and focus, et cetera? Yeah, it's interesting because none of us have experienced this before. So it's, it's new for everyone. And usually we're so structured with our workouts and, and regime about leading up to training camp. Um, you know, and now we, it's just an uncertainty. We don't, we're not sure when we're going to start. So, um, the training programs have kind of had to be altered. You know, some guys are at home in an apartment with nothing to train with, uh, maybe just body weight, um, maybe some kettlebells. I'm pretty lucky. I got, I got a barbell in the basement, um, and some weights that I was able to grab before, but, um, even still, you know, you can't train exactly how you were used to yeah. and you're trying to just do your best to, to maintain what you've done. Um, you know, I get out and I run with my dog in the mornings and do some sprints with him. And so that kind of helps me, but, um, I'll, I'll try to get my wife to throw me some balls in the living room just so I get some catches in, um, you know, but everyone's just trying to do what they can. And, um, mentally there's, again, there's not much we can do. It's just listen to the experts and, uh, stay as sharp as we can. And, and we're able to get into some of the playbook, um, just do some reviews before training camp. Um, but again, it's, it's nothing like when we're in it. So uh, we're just all trying to do the best we can. Yeah, well, that's great. You know, just a side note, I remember my son, we could never get him to sleep at night and we put him in this thing called the football carry. Have you heard about this? Oh yeah, of You course. literally hold the kid like a football and it worked like a, like a damn every single time. It was fantastic. So there you go. You can marry the new fatherhood with the football thing. Try it out with your son, who knows? I wish he wasn't growing so fast. That worked for the first couple of weeks, but now he's so long that I've run out of space on my hand. So I got to go to the double. <laughs> okay. Well, well, what the heck, whatever it takes. That's so right. I have, you know, I am, I am a Red Blacks fan and I, I you know, I followed you closely for a long time. I have a, 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 a more football centric question for you. And one of the things I've noticed, I mean, obviously you have great hands, you've had great hands forever. Um, but one thing that I really notice about your game is that you figure out how to get first downs when I, I, I swear there's no way this guy's going to get a first down. And I'm wondering, it sounds, it sounds crazy, but you have this, it's like a, some kind of superpower of finding the first down marker. <laughs> is there something you do? Is there something you think about before a play starts, you know, where you're eyeballing the line on the field or something? Because, you know, you don't have that little yellow line that we have on TV. That's right. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if you have any thoughts on that, but it is a superpower you've got. You know what? It's uh, there's a little bit of luck involved. Um, you know, but I every play I, I try to see where the first down marker is and and understand if if we have to go seven yards and my routes 
five to six, maybe I'm going to push it just that extra little bit, just so that um, in case I wasn't able to get the extra yards, I'm, I'm right there. And hopefully if I fall forward, you know, I'm a big, tall guy. So that actually takes up usually three or four yards. So as long as you fall forward, that's a big key. That helps a lot. Right. Um, but you know, that's just something it's the CFL that we only have two downs and, and just trying to get first down conversions is, is big for sustaining drives. So I think that's just something that um, we've always, I've always heard in the receiver room and quarterback room and, um, just something that I, I really try to focus on every play. That's great. Well, thanks for that. Um, you know, the one other thing I wanted to talk to you a little about was the OSEG and the OSEG Foundation. I know the foundation is involved in the, all kinds of things in the community. Is there anything that uh, maybe you want to share about sort of your connection or involvement with uh, with the foundation? Yeah, the OSEG Foundation, they do a fantastic job. And um, I think the the one thing that stands out for me is over the years, they've been able to put on a lot of different events that engage um, just a lot of uh, a big demographic really so um, you know there's a there's a dinner on the field um, where guys or guys and girls everyone can come from different companies and and um, just have an experience on the field and we, you can donate there's prizes um, just trying to get awareness there's the women's night that they hold where is fantastic they they try to get as many ladies out and just teach them game of football you get to go in and watch some film and chat with the guys and run around and just have an experience that um that's that's very different and of course you know they help out with a lot of children that that are in needs in sport and um you know it's fantastic so as a player anytime they ask us to do something it's fantastic that that we're available to just um really do whatever they ask well that's great and i'm so glad that uh certainly so glad the foundation is there so glad you're involved in it and i guess from from our point of view at ca we you know, we're always looking to be connected to the community. And here today, we'd like to make a donation of $1,000 to the OSEG Foundation um, going forward for you to use and the foundation to use for whatever uh, initiatives you think are, are worthwhile in the community. Wow, that's amazing. I, I really appreciate that. It, again, they do an amazing job and I'm sure a lot of kids are going to benefit from that. So thank you very much. Oh, you're, you're totally welcome. You're totally welcome. Now, speaking of, I was just thinking as you're talking about um, on the field events, one thing we do at, at CA North and East is every year we have a member appreciation day where we invite members actually to come out and run around the field, run some routes, maybe try and defend Brad Sinopoli. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> uh, so uh, for those members who aren't aware of that, that is, that is a thing we do once a year and we'll be announcing that on our website, whenever the season does get started, what day that will be. And maybe we'll even see Brad there uh, at our member appreciation day. For sure. That sounds awesome. That's, that's one of the great things about the CFL too is, um it's i think it's so accessible for the fans to be able to to have an experience like that come on the field and uh play catch or run around with guys um i think it's fantastic that's great so last point last thing um so it is our member appreciation week and we're giving away prizes we're giving away all kinds of different things and one prize i think maybe the most valuable prize of the whole week would be a signed football from brad Snopoli. so i'm wondering whether uh, you're willing to sign a ball for it for us and uh and we can give it away to one of our members. Of course, you're lucky. I have, I don't always carry, but I have a pen with me and a ball. So you're lucky. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> That's great. All right, Brad. So you, if you sign that ball, you can throw it back to me and, uh, and away we go. I hope the wind is strong. My arm isn't what it used to be. You ready? Yeah. Nice. nice. Got it. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Brad. That's great. Really appreciate you taking a few minutes to chat with us today, and we really look forward to uh, big success on the field this season. Thanks, Jeff. Looking forward to it. All right. Have a good day. You too.